This is Diana and welcome to Crafted Sweetly. In this video, I will do a review of the Incra Precision T Ruler. I use it for book folding, so this um, tutorial will be on how to use it for this kind of project. So I do a lot of book folding um, and I've read about this Incra Ruler, um, which is a precision T rule. Um, obviously you can use it for other projects that require a lot of precision but with book folding when oftentimes you're measuring things down to the millimeter and some patterns will have um, like half of a millimeter um, this ruler comes in really handy up until now i was using this ruler which is um, worked well uh, but what i usually had to do was if i had um, the book that i'm measuring i needed to make sure that this always stays flush so I was holding it this way and then um, when measuring, so one finger staying this way and measuring, then I would need to find where it is, you know, like three um, centimeters and then 0.2 and then I would need to kind of run along the line and mark it. Okay, so this was the process before and when you have some patterns with um, up to like 30 markings on a page it takes a while to do this process with the ruler so once I read about this Incra ruler I needed to investigate and decided to purchase one first of all it's super flexible so if you're working on a project that is not flat you know like you're measuring a bowl or something this bends completely so you can measure things that are not flat unlike with this which doesn't really have any give um, so first this was in the package the other parts that come with it are the t-bar so for the t-bar you've got a couple of the screws the hex nuts and then the washers so what you need to do is on one end so this is the assembling part of it um, on one end it does have the two holes and on the t-bar one side of it has this lip so if you look at it this side you can see that it's slightly higher so that's the part that's going to this is going to be flush against so versus this way you want it to be flush against this first we'll put the hex nut in here that's what we'll anchor it to and then we'll get the other one in and I'll kind of position them closer together where the ruler is. So that's that portion. And then need the washers. So then we put the washer and then assemble it right there. Now again, you need to make sure that the ruler is flush here. And same thing, washer. And then screw this on. So now the hex nut secure this in place. And it is flush so if you look at this ruler there's a set of little holes right at the top here so you can see them better okay so these are little holes right there you can see the yellow to them they're really really tiny now when you use this ruler um, I have to go and get uh, this is a mechanical pencil and it's a 0.05 uh, millimeter lead inside um, I had, I was using the um, 0.7 and those pencils do not fit in these little holes, okay? The holes are too tiny for the 0.7 to fit in, so I needed the 0.5. Um, and I do have links below for the ruler and then, you know, if you needed a pencil, but any 0.5 millimeter pencil will do. So once you're measuring, this goes, so there's a set of holes down here. And then these holes are for um, increments of millimeters. So you've got 15 millimeters here, and then it's 15.25 and 15.5 and 15.75. So each of these rows represents a quarter of a millimeter. Okay, so these are all little holes, as you can see. And then the other thing that it has is a set of um, holes or slots at the end if you needed to do any vertical kind of measurement you could do this um, so you can see at, at the end of the ruler it does mark here that this is a quarter of a millimeter the first row of holes 
the second row is a half a millimeter and then the third is three quarters of a millimeter the other thing you could do is if you were to move loosen these a little bit you could move this up or down depending on your project if you need it lower or centered or however you need it so i'll leave it in the center for this measuring so flush and then if i use a pattern which is what you'll see these patterns now most patterns you'll see in centimeters so it's not 1.8 millimeters this is one centimeter and then eight millimeters so this takes much less time it's so much easier on the eyes because you don't have to kind of strain and see am i in the right line with this or am i off by one line um, the other issue that i would often find with the other ruler um, is that depending on how you look at the ruler from which angle you may be marking it off by a millimeter which it's a millimeter but when you're doing book folding a millimeter is a lot so with this you know if you're using this ruler and you have all these lines here depending on which angle you're looking at this from you may be marking it at 3.2 versus 3.3 .3, okay but with this Incra ruler you don't have that problem because there's a little hole right by 3.2 so you cannot mark it by 3.3 .3. it's gonna be at 3.2 okay we had three one after the other here but these are one millimeter markings on here so this ruler will definitely make your um, book folding projects a lot more accurate and a lot faster to mark uh, but again if you do any kind of other projects that you need measuring for this rule ruler will come in super handy um, because everything is going to be accurate and i just love that it has these slots in here so you can mark everything as you need to now as you progress making uh, the markings on your pages um, initially with a book so this is a hardcover book that has this slip on it but as you progress so initially the the pages are fine and this is completely flat on the book but as you get towards the end of the book and the number of pages left are thinner than the height of this um, team uh, portion of it then it makes it a little harder because there's a gap here so if you press down it distorts because it's no longer flush with the edge so if again you can see that there's a slight gap here because this the pages are not at the same height as this so in order to prevent that problem um, I just take a stack of paper and I put it at the end of the book and make sure that it's at the edge here with the pages um, and then once you have that then you can proceed to have the ruler the T ruler right at the end so this gives you the height in the remaining pages in order to be able to mark what's left um, because again the the last couple of pages this would not work without just an added padding i mean certainly at the beginning of the book this is flat on it but at the end it's no longer flat so you need something in between here but that's really the only tip as far as the um, ruler itself otherwise it's an excellent ruler and again it's the, the precision is just unbelievable um, i hope you enjoyed this video explaining this Incra ruler uh, if you have any questions comment below um, subscribe to my channel and I'll be sharing some additional projects, um, crafts, things like that. So uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks so much and see you next time.